In 2004, the state of Connecticut established the Early Childhood Cabinet created by statute and the Appropriations Committee of Legislature began a pilot project to apply results-based accountability to the budget process. This began a three-year-old journey to improve the lives of Connecticut's children, youth, and families by focusing on young children as the starting point. The RBA process turns budgeting on its ear. Instead of asking you to tell why you need more of something, it says, what have you done that actually makes a difference for people? So is anyone better off? And for people like me who care a really lot about outcomes and how you get to them, it was a right turn, a correct turn in how we thought about this. So it's been a very good opportunity to apply s solid outcomes-based analyses to very complicated policy issues. I think it brings more focus and ever more interest in results-based accountability. This is not a time to be random in our investments or for the state to be random in the public investments. The state actually invests a lot of, a lot of wealth and a lot of time in the lives of children, over $600 million. As they have to cut things, they need to know what's paying off and good results for kids and let go of the things that either aren't working or can't be demonstrated to work. By continually looking back at what is the quality of life result that we're trying to achieve here? Who are we trying to make better off? And are we making them better off? And if we're not making them better off, why are we pursuing this particular program if it's not helping us get to the quality of life result that we have established that we want to achieve? That is an enormous difference. 